when the overhead 360 came out in my mind i thought uh, this is going to be very similar to the 360 it's going to be popular just for a little bit and then after that it might start dying down and so i i didn't buy any overhead 360s just because i myself didn't see too much value in the overhead 360 production and so I know that it takes about two people to set up an overhead 360 and my intentions was to send out one person to the event. And so sending out two people for an overhead 360, I think was going to cut into the profit margins, either that or the people attending the overhead 360 event as contractors, they were going to make less because I had to divide the money both ways to two different. So uh, I don't have too many thoughts on the overhead 360, to be frank with you. And I really can't give you much of input because I don't own one. Uh, but those are just my, this is what I thought when uh, when I seen the overhead 360. It wasn't very attractive to me. All right. Uh, Julian Lewis, what are some ways you recommend getting leads? Oh, man, that's a whole different conversation. So as far as generating leads, while you're at the event, when you're at the event, you are exchanging information with every player there. When I mean by player is every vendor there, okay? You have your DJ, you have the person bringing in the, the cupcakes, right? The balloons, uh, the people who set up the dance floor. There's a ton of people there. So network with them because the reason I bring them up is because they're forever in this industry just like we are. So what means is if we are able to get al aligned with them, then they can generate leads for us forever. So focus on the people that can continuously give you those leads. Now, if you want to run ads, you constantly have to spend money on ads to get leads and, and, and ads can get tricky. Uh, another way to generate leads is have your system collect data for you. So for example, if they go on your website and they book a date and then they hit submit, but then they come to the window where they have to leave the deposit and decide not to leave the, leave the deposit, you can set up your website to where they entered some information but didn't check out. It's called like the abandoned cart. They still have, the, you can still have, you, ha, you still have access to their phone number and email. You can contact them and say, hey, I noticed uh, you were in our, our website yesterday and I was wondering if there's anything that was uh, was confusing so that we can help you out because we would love to be at your event. 